my God, so many beverages, dude. Getting so hammered on Polo Celta, dude. Uh, I'm going to do a mystery unboxing today. I share an Amazon account with uh, my significant other, H Ball, and uh, not Greg Herbold. If, uh, if you've been around as long as I have, uh, you'll know that that was his nickname. She did not steal it. I gave her that nickname. I have that power. I can give nicknames that stick, so watch out. That's, that's a little bit too threatening. <laughs> So Heather and I share this Amazon account, so I don't know what's in this box is. Some of this stuff is my stuff, some of the stuff is her stuff. Oh, so this is of interest possibly to some of you, but I am going to True Grit Epic. I'm leaving in my car in the Subaru Farista dude on I think Thursday, maybe Friday at the latest, maybe Saturday at the very latest. Uh, I had some aspirations of making it to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival, which is this coming weekend in Sedona, Arizona. A uh, home of my favorite donut shop, Sedonuts. Don't look that up, that's not real. I will be driving my Subaru fairest across the country uh, about as fast as I can, probably probably in about three days. That's kind of reasonable for me. Showing up in St. George, Utah or Santa Clara, Utah just a few days before the event so I can hopefully get some drone shots. We'll see what happens there. Depending on timing, I may do some riding in New Mexico on the way out, I'm not sure yet. And then on the way home, uh, well, in between the way home and, uh, and covering uh, True Grid Epic, I will be going skiing with H Ball in Salt Lake City. Not in Salt Lake City, I'm not that geographically disinclined, but we'll be staying in Salt Lake and, uh, and skiing in the vicinity of, of Salt Lake. On the way home, quote unquote, I will be in Moab for a few days doing some stuff with my friends at JRA Cycles and uh, Da Vinci Cycles. And then maybe stopping in Fruta and Grand Junction. I want another crack at that Horse Thief Bench intro, you know, the, the uh, drop into it in Fruta, because I didn't do it last time I was out there. I want to go out with some people so someone can dial 9-1 and wait for me to break my face. All right, let's get to it here. I don't want this video to be too long. All right, so let's see if I can not cut myself. I don't really need that knife for, for doing this stuff. I got this more for stabbing coyotes while I'm out hiking with my dog. I'm not even kidding. Oh, so what do we have here? Oh, it's a uh, Myers scented candle, dude. <laughs> not mine. Well, it's for the house, but I guess I ordered it. Uh, maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll bring one of these for the Ferris to do it and uh, maybe I'll light this up in the car to, uh, you know, combat that road trip funk. You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just be driving around with a bunch of lit candles. I think that's safe. All right, next. My mother always told me, uh, never cut towards yourself, always cut towards someone else. What is this? Hmm. That's interesting. That is, that is pretty small. I wonder if this is for the correct thing. <laughs> I hope I ordered the right freaking thing. All right, well, there's a thing that's coming on Wednesday, hopefully, that goes, hopefully, in this. I don't know if I ordered the right one. Are you looking at my fupa? Stop looking at my fupa, I'm working on it. Oh my God, H-Ball. <laughs> you guys see what that is? Do you see what the freak that is? That is a, it's a system for training your cat how to use the toilet, like in a Meet the Parents. I got nipples, can you milk me? All right, I guess I, I won't be bringing that on the trip. What is this? Okay, so this is not from Amazon. I have a good idea what this is, and I'm actually pretty excited. Put this away before somebody gets hurt. Oh man, dude. Okay, so that thing's huge. Wow, what is that? All right, we got, that is a big red bag from Evoc. Here's a little yellow bag from Evoc. And Evoc Evoc. And that's a little black bag that you guys are probably gonna make fun of me for in the comments. Okay, so this, this thing is actually H Ball's ski bag. So that's for, for backcountry skiing. All right, so that, we're not really gonna get too good of a look at that because that is, that is a ski item. 
And we're not that interested in skiing on this channel. I love skiing, you love skiing. We're not gonna talk about skiing. This is, uh, this is the Photo Top 22 liter from Evoc uh, in red. Uh, it is going to be the replacement for my handy dandy uh, Photosport 220 or whatever the hell this thing's called from Lowepro. Uh, it's been a great bag. It's not a perfect bag, but I've never found a perfect bag. So this was, this was close enough while it served me. So, uh, so we'll be putting that sideline in that. That is now the B bag. And I'm gonna experiment with, this is actually, this is my first time seeing this thing, you know, in the, in the flesh, in the, the canvas. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, this is not a review. I'm just uh, reacting, reacting to this. So it's got this cool, right off the bat, it's got this double zipper guy something going on in here what's going on in here oh we got this little mesh pocket yeah, that was my issue one of my issues with the low pro is just not enough segmented pockets so it's just kind of a big cavernous space where you lose things so that is some that's some very tenacious velcro so then you have these mini what is that it's like mini mini pockets like maybe you want to put some like little sd cards or something in there those are tiny very well sealed pockets and there's some little sleeves here. You want to kind of throw some little flash drives or something in there. You guys can see that. It's like these little pockets down here. So, so far, pocket game is stronger than uh, that of the Low Pro Photo Sport. And so, back here, I'm assuming this is rain cover. Yeah, rain cover back here. In case you get caught out. Over here you got, I'm assuming this is gonna be, this is your camera compartment. It's kinda, you can, it's configurable, is that a word? Uh, so you can throw your, you know, your camera and lens in here. Uh, some Velcro little dividers, so you can kinda situate it however you like. So usually when I, with the photo sport, with a low pro, I would have my camera and then my road mic in here, easy to access. So this, this, um, you know, like the low pro, I like the side rather than the um, the back access uh, for the for the camera compartment because a lot of those a lot of these uh, kind of do this like flip thing where you flip it down and you access the camera through here uh, through the section that's resting on your back actually. Where this, you know, sometimes you can actually go for the camera while you're riding, and I end up in situations during hundred mile races or whatever where I just want to pull the you know, when I'm racing them or shooting them, where I just want to pull the camera out the side, you know, kind of act as a, you know, do body tripods or whatever, tripod off a, off a stump or something, or a rock, and just get a shot real quick. Hip straps with large pockets here, and I like to be able to put, the, put my phone there for uh, easy access for social medias during, during an event while I'm riding around. What's going on here? Okay, so you got a big, big sleevey pocket on the side, so that's good for, uh, Small tripod, gorilla pod, what have you. That's that's a good spot for that. Uh, and then let's see what's going on inside here. So it kind of it rolls, rolls shut. That's interesting. That makes it easy to access. Okay, that's a sleeve where you maybe you could put a pizza or a laptop. Yeah, and then it's just kind of this is just kind of open up here. This is kind of some free space. Like maybe you throw a. You know, a jacket, you slicker, you know, in case it rains or something. How's that look? I look like an idiot. All right, so that's, that's pretty exciting. I'm stoked to uh, try this out while I'm out in Utah, running around at the True Grid Epic. Looks like it is, uh, it is substantial enough to hold anything I'm going to need it to hold, and it uh, looks pretty cool. All right. All right, and lastly but not leastly, we got this little guy. I think it might be some kind of purse. It says it's a hip pack race three liter. There you go, dude. Start start making fun of me in the comments right now. Yep, I'm gonna be racing some enduro races hopefully this uh, this season. So I'm going full enduro. Goggles, full face, fanny pack. I'm actually I'm super stoked for this because I'm I have uh, I have some pretty you know I have some weird back problems going back from a, to a surgery and I just don't, I don't like to have things on my shoulders if I can help it during a ride. So let's see what we got here. We got some space for, you know, you put your, uh, your windbreaker. And what is this another, it's another one of these like 
cool double zipper things. I hate bad zippers. See all these compartments, dude. You got some, yeah, these little segments here. You can separate up your tools. You got this little zipper here. That's the portion that's gonna be, that's like you're actually on your hip. It's got some, some foam padding here. So if it, you know, it's jostling around, it's not gonna smush your, smush your back. Okay, so then it accommodates a hydration system. I guess not, not included. It, uh, how do you access that? Okay, so you can put, you can put a hydration pack bladder in here and then run the hose out here. That's what you can do. Out there. Hi. How, how are you doing? So I'm actually, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this, this will be fun because, uh, don't like to ride with a ton of stuff, but, uh, you know, sometimes I need to ride with my dog leash, stuff like that, you know, stuff for the dog. And, uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to try this thing out. So yeah, I'll be riding around in Utah with that, uh, new photo backpack and then, uh, trying this out on rides. Pretty neat. All right, so that's it for this uh, incredibly exciting unboxing video, and I'll see you later.